We are live. It's your first time on television <laughs> or the internet on YouTube. What do you think about that? All right, ladies, so welcome. As you can see, we have a special guest with us, Mrs. Sarah Turner, and Hello. I'll let you introduce your party. This is Amos. He's three and a half months old, and <laughs> he's a bruiser. Yes. <laughs> He's a chunk. <laughs> He's a chunk. <laughs> he is. All right. So let me just make sure that the sound is good. Okay. So there's that. Oh, we already got people. Hey, Amanda, you're on time. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, Samantha. Oh, Abby's there. Hi, Abby. <laughs> Julia, how are you guys doing? All right. So welcome to the show. Obviously, uh, we are going to be talking about, we already have a lot of live listeners. Good. Talking about money saving tips, frugal. Sarah's been very Abby's here to take him off. There we go. <laughs> Bye, Amos. Bye. Are you gonna take him out? Okay. All right. So Sarah, I'm gonna give you the microphone. So you go ahead and just kind of share, you know, your ideas. You wanted to you mentioned this topic and I was all on board because it's a great topic for especially now so go ahead and just so um, I wanted to start out by saying that um, saving money is work and what you don't pay for in convenience you will pay for in time and effort so pr be prepared for a lot of work if you're gonna start doing things more frugally and um, a little bit about my financial experience I worked as a teller in a credit union and I grew up not in debt I didn't think credit cards were a good thing my parents never encouraged them and they greatly discouraged them and then um, getting into work at the credit union I learned why they discouraged them I saw a lot of people struggling and I mm -hmm. saw a lot of people who were not able to make ends meet every single month and whenever payday came around, it was a feeding frenzy for their money, and it was mm -hmm. awful. So that just further told me that I did not want to be in debt. And then I got married to somebody who had a lot of debt. <laughs> so um, in three and a half years, with my experience and him being completely on board and trusting me with the finances, um, we have paid off $20,000 in debt. Wow. And we have paid about... $8,300 toward um, the births of our two children and we have moved all in that time mm -hmm. we've moved twice in that time and we're still paying off debt and things are going smoothly right now so 20,000 that's even more than I think we paid off when we started paying off our debt um, we did did now did you do any courses or anything to teach you how to pay this off I was able to watch the Dave Ramsey courses yep. mm -hmm. um, I got in on some sort of free deal where we could watch them online for free right at the beginning of the pandemic. Nice. Plandemic. <laughs> yeah, plandemic. Um, so <laughs> um, that is something that I, I had already learned about Dave Ramsey before, and I haven't been following the plan so closely, which is why we're still in debt. No, I haven't taken out more than 20000 but... Um, 20000 is impressive, though. Yeah. That's really impressive. <laughs> I think when we... I can't remember exactly... I, I think between credit cards and some others that we had, we had 10000 Okay. And we paid that off on a very low income. Um, I think we had four, four or five kids at the time. And so it took us a couple years, a few years. So the fact that you've been able to do that is pretty amazing. But, yeah, I like his courses. I know there are mixed feelings and emotions about him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's a businessman. Maybe he is in it for the money, but, you know, he's got to make a living too. And I, I really like his principles that he outlines. Mm -hmm. So My goal with our money is not to become wealthy. It's to get out of debt and be able to help other people. Mm -hmm. And my husband is a very giving person, as all the people in the church know. He, um, he wants to be able to help people. And I think that if we're out of debt, that's going to be a whole lot easier. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move the microphone closer. I said you're very quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me make sure that hopefully that's not like covering Is your face. Better? I don't know. See if it's better. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no, she said I had the phone against the blanket. 
<laughs> Hello, Raquel. That's all right, Joyce. We're trying to get it better. Okay, I'm just going to make sure it's not covering her face right now. Oh, it's kind of covering her face a little bit. All right, let me see. <laughs> okay, hopefully. Sorry, guys. We have this nice setup, and um, yeah. Okay. How does that look? Like it look okay? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> see how Ra Raquel said that she um likes Dave Ramsey as well. Yeah. And then Julia said when they got married, they were required by the pastor to read the book. So, and I think, you know, I grew up in a home too where we didn't really um, use debt. But I don't know, when you get married, you know, you married someone with debt. Mm -hmm. When we got married, we were like, ooh, credit card. We've never had one before. Let's get a credit card. And then it's amazing how you're only going to use it for emergency situations and something is always an emergency. Mm -hmm. Something comes up, the car breaks down, you know. So I like so. his plan for having like a savings in case you need, you have an emergency or mm -hmm or whatever so when we first moved up here I was we were trying to buy a house so I did open a credit card to build credit yep but mm -hmm. I can't bring myself to use the thing just because of what I know about them yes so I've used it maybe twice and paid it off like as soon as I made the transaction and it just mm -hmm. makes me feel so guilty putting money on there I know so I know you definitely get it in there now we have we will buy things like plane tickets um, on the credit card but then we pay it off because mm -hmm. then you get rewards mm -hmm because of it so we will do that but we always strive to have like a zero dollar balance mm -hmm. you know at the end of each month yep. so they do do the perks for sure mm -hmm. <laughs> with their credit cards but you got to be careful okay so let's go into um, money saving tips so what did you do around the house to save money when you first started this journey okay so um do you want to start with food? Yeah. Okay. Um, yep. So we do buy mostly organic food. We found out about a year after we had my first daughter, uh, my only daughter, <laughs> that um, about GMOs, and we were learning about how to create a healthier diet for her and in turn creating a healthier diet for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So um, we have purchased mostly organic food, so that does definitely bring the price up. Our monthly budget for food is between 300 and $400 most months, and that's before the prices are rising. Mm -hmm. So I do think that food for my family is a priority for spending Mm -hmm. um, and you may not feel that way and you may be, feel, may be able to have a $200 budget or less monthly for food and that's just something you'll have to decide on your own what's yeah. best for your family um, but we have a food budget and we follow it um, that means there's a budget for eating out if we need to there's a budget for the grocery shopping and um, some months, if things are really tight, I put a budget also for household items so that right. I'm keeping track of what how much laundry detergent we're buying and how much vegetables we need to buy at the store. Mm -hmm. So um, meal planning is a very good way to save money because you're keeping track of how much food you're bringing into the house and you are preparing ahead of time. Anything that saves you money is going to cost you time. So preparing your but your meal plan with your budget is a very easy way to keep track of how much you're spending and that is also easy with the um, pickup options at grocery stores yeah that does make it very easy to because, see exactly how much you're spending mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, cooking at home is something that we do that definitely saves money and we run a freezer so we do buy a lot of things in bulk um, we buy our meat in bulk. We have a great local meat source, so we're splitting a cow with a bunch of the people in church. It's sweet. And, um, <laughs> I've been saving for it. <laughs> yes, me too. Um, and we, um, if I find a sale on canned goods or if I find a sale on um, like organic produce, you can prep it ahead of time and then save it in your freezer. Mm -hmm. Or if you know how to preserve food in other ways like vacuum sealing or canning or dehydrating, those are other ways that you can preserve food when you find it on sale. And that's something that my mm -hmm. mother-in-law, Jackie, has taught me mm -hmm. how to do. So, 
Heidi does a lot of that, doesn't she? Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Heidi is very good at prepping her food and making sure that she never runs out of what she needs. Mm -hmm. Except for uh, cream of chicken. (laughs) (laughs) So um, we don't buy many snacks. If we do, it's an occasional treat. And I don't buy many sweets. My husband does, but I do not. (laughs) And... Mm -hmm. We don't buy kid foods or baby food. We do baby lead weaning, which cuts significantly yeah, in does. cost because mm-hmm. you just feed your kid food from your own plate. Right. And it's so much cheaper to do it that way. Mm-hmm. It can be scarier if you're not prepared. Yes. So. <laughs> I was like a pioneer with Kelly. And then with Hannah, I was a little more chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't quite go that route with Kelly, but, or Hannah, I mean, but I do with Kelly. Mm -hmm. She loves foods now, so. Um, Cutting your own fruit and vegetables can save you a lot because they upcharge for pre-sliced fruits and vegetables at the store. Yes. So Mm -hmm. buying your pre-shredded bag of carrots is going to cost you a couple of cents more per ounce than buying a bag of carrots and shredding it yourself. So um, if you bought a food processor and shred the carrots yourself in there, you would save a significant amount over time than buying the Mm pre-cut vegetables. So I do currently buy frozen vegetables that are pre-cut because that's a convenience I'm willing to pay for at the time. Yes, exactly. Two under two (laughs) means that I don't have a lot of spare time or time I'm willing to spare on cutting vegetables. Right. That's something that I do pay extra for. Um, If you can tend to a garden, growing your own vegetables is a great way to save money. And if you do tend to garden, grow what you're going to eat and learn how to preserve what you're going to eat so none of it goes to waste. Because if it goes to waste, you've just wasted a bunch of time. Mm-hmm. That's true. Um, I save my vegetable scraps and my meat bones so I can make broth with them. Um, chicken bones and um, any onion skins, celery ends, mm-hmm. carrot ends the center of a bell pepper, garlic cloves that are close to turning bad. You can toss it all in a crock Mm -hmm. pot with a bunch of water, add some salt, and there's your chicken broth Mm. a day later. Mm -hmm. So I have not bought chicken broth from the store since we've been married. Wow. so That's impressive. We're doing really good on chicken broth. That's really good, Um, though. Always save your bacon grease. You can use that instead of cooking oil, and it tastes better. This is like depression era tips here. This is stuff I grew up on. Yeah, this Mm -hmm. is what our grandparents did, our great grandparents did. All these little tips that we've just kind of, you know, Mm -hmm. gone by the wayside Mm -hmm. for the most part. I did all of this when I was younger. Now I'm in a different position now as far as, you know, the only debt we have right now is our house. Mm -hmm. So we don't have credit card debt. We don't have a a car payment right now. So I'm able to use a little bit more. Obviously, I have what four times the kids do. yeah <laughs> so i've got eight children uh kelly my budget is about what yours is i think i saw kelly logan was on um it's about 260 a week but i have been spending closer to 300 mm-hmm. and but what i do with my budget i have to stick to it so basically um we have two accounts we have our main account that my husband runs and he pays all the bills and does the budget mm-hmm. and i know we're going to talk about budget in a minute um and then I have my piano lesson money account. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I use the budgeted money for the 260 but then whatever I overspend, I use with my piano lesson money. Mm-hmm. You know, that way on paper, I'm still sticking to the budget. But with the inflation, I have noticed it gone up mm-hmm. in the last year mm-hmm. quite a bit. So Something with, um, like you were saying, supplementing from your piano lesson money, you mm-hmm. can create some sort of hobby that earns you income. Yeah. You can, if you know how to sew, sew little things and sell them online, or you can sell them to friends. I make lotions, sell it to my friends, some different salves and teas and things. So you can Mm -hmm. make an earning off of a hobby. It doesn't have to be just your husband's income or just the both of your income. You can go and find other income sources. That's yeah. another thing that's going to take you extra time. It's going to take extra mental energy, yeah. but <laughs> you're going to reap the rewards later. Right. And it's it's nice because 
I know that the bill part is taken care of, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I don't use our debit card with the exception of um, the ex, like just groceries. Mm -hmm. Like that's my money for the week is our normal debit card. But with my other debit card for the piano lesson money, I am able to get the extras, mm -hmm. you know, what we go over. And to me, that's worth it. So, but I'm at a point too where I don't have two small children. Mm -hmm. You couldn't take the time to devote into piano lessons like I can, no. you know, because you're there full time. Mm -hmm. I have older kids that can help out. So right. every situation is going to be different, obviously. And there's different seasons in life. What you're talking about is exactly the kind of thing I did when we had little kids mm -hmm. and we were trying to pay off our debt. Mm -hmm. We did rice and beans once a week. I stretch um, meals with a lot of rice. Yes. Rice is very filling and it's very cheap. Mm -hmm. And then I even did for lunches, I did ramen noodles a couple times a week. Not the healthiest, I know. <laughs> But you gotta do what you gotta do. And I did the coupon game mm -hmm. big time I for don't groceries. Do coupons. No, and I, can't I, put I the did. time into it. Right. And it, it is time consuming. I would spend every Sunday afternoon. This mm -hmm. was back when we used to go home mm -hmm. on Sunday <laughs> afternoons. I would take every Sunday afternoon and clip them and it was for stuff like um all my toiletries. Mm -hmm. The C I played the C V S game and I was able to um this is something get Heidi's free really stuff. good at Yes. Yeah. Because you can get the extra care bucks and flip them over with coupons. You can walk away with free stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. I was really good at that. And then I did the um, yogurts, um, anytime, mm -hmm. oat mills, different things like that I would use the coupons for. So that's mm -hmm. another option too. If you're into, I don't feel like they're as good as they used to be though. No, definitely not. No. Companies have gotten smarter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have. They used to do buy one, get one free. And then you could do a buy one, get one free at CVS and get both free. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know if they do that anymore. <laughs> You got to work harder now to help yes, the system. Yes, you do. You do. So, um, so we ended on bacon grease. I shred my own cheese. I don't buy pre-shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. um, something else about um, saving money and doing things yourself. Things will tend to be healthier. We don't eat a, an anti-caking agent in our cheese mm. because we shred our That's own. That's true. We're yeah. buying a block of cheese mm -hmm. and shredding it ourselves. Right. So that's something that I'm cutting out of my kid's diet that I don't want to be in there mm -hmm. just by the way I choose to prepare food. Right. Um, stop eating out. We eat out maybe once a month, and it's usually with money that my husband brings in from scrapping metal. Mm -hmm. So that's excess that's money that's idea. not in the budget. That's something that he can use to treat us with. So... That's a good idea. That's another extra income source that not everybody has right now, but you can. People get rid of metal all the time. Mm -hmm. If your husband has a truck, go ahead and scrap it. <laughs> yeah. That's a Free good idea. money right there. Mm, it is. <clears throat> um, I cook from my pantry and my freezer. I don't generally go to the grocery store for specific meals. I load my pantry and my freezer. I have, I don't know, two or three months worth of food stocked back. Mm -hmm. for my family size and I use that to cook meals for the family so I'm not getting as much fresh vegetables into our diet but I do have a lot of frozen that I mix in mm -hmm. and that's a way that you can save money because you aren't running out to the grocery store and getting um I wrote the words down <laughs> sorry excess fillers <laughs> um out of the ordinary items and you're not you um sorry you're not Im getting impulse purchases mm -hmm. yeah um so that's something that i always buy more than i need when i go to the store uh -huh. just even a little trip uh -huh. there I'll, I'll pick something up i don't need yep mm -hmm. um something else you could do is cut your um, toast or your sandwiches in half or in quarters. Mm -hmm. It tricks your brain into thinking that you've eaten more than you have. I need to do that just because. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another way that you can save a little bit of money. Stretching your meals with rice, potatoes, pasta, or beans. Mm -hmm. A pound of meat with um, a little bit of beans isn't too noticeable if you season it well. And um, unless you're my husband, then you notice the beans. So I do rice <laughs> instead. <laughs> Um, and then you can gradually over time move up from your small amount of beans or rice to gradually adding more to 
not be so shocking. You can do half and half at the end of it when you get stretched enough. Or if you have to and you don't have any money, you can do just the beans and just the rice, like you were saying. Right. And you can make mm -hmm. it stretch really far. I have a really good recipe that I can probably post. Um, it uses new cheese and a can of, I believe it's like picante, mm -hmm. a can of picante salsa. So it's not just the rice and it's really good. Okay. I can post it. It's like we had friends that were also doing the Dave Ramsey and they had been doing that once a week and mm -hmm. they sent it to us and it's a really good recipe. So I'll try it. Remind me to post that guys. Do you want to go over financial stuff next? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So one thing that helped can help you achieve all of these goals as far as just paying down debt, spending less on groceries. I want to address really quick. Kelly asked about doing pickups. She asked if things were more expensive or you paid a fee for it. Can you explain that better? Sorry. The pickup, like if you oh, do grocery pickup, she was wondering um, if there was a fee or if things were more expensive. It depends on the store. Usually the price is the same as what you get in store. If you're using um, a Kroger pickup, sometimes you'll have a fee if it's under a certain amount. I know mm -hmm. Walmart's the same way. Walmart's 35. You have to have 35 and up and it's free. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on your store. I would make an account. The accounts are always free. You may get a bunch of unwanted emails but you're gonna get lots of good information and you can load a cart and act like you're going to purchase mm -hmm. and find out what the fees are for your area and your store I believe most pickup mm -hmm. is the same I have noticed a couple little price differences on bacon with okay. Walmart um, of like 30 cents or so and then um, a couple other items most of the I pretty much know all the Walmart prices and all the prices okay. or things um, I do think there is a fee. They they up price. I don't know if that's a word. They put the price up a little bit more on some items if you do, like, where they deliver to your home. Mm -hmm. Yes, delivery is always yes. more expensive. But pickup, I think, mm -hmm. is about the same. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, having a budget mm -hmm. is the most important thing. You have yes. to know where your money is going. And once you create a budget, you will see how bad you are at keeping your money. Yeah. When we first, we started our marriage with no budget and about six months in, I started budgeting mm -hmm. and we were spending a ton of money on food that was unnecessary. Yep. Just because you're newly married, you're going out for dates all the time, mm -hmm. you're spending a lot of money on food that yes. should not <laughs> be spent. So that was one area where we were, we were able to cut back. And then subscriptions, we were um, paying for Netflix, I think, mm -hmm. and or maybe it was Hulu, I don't remember, but um, different things that we were just able to cut and mm -hmm. not miss. Um, if you do feel like you need one of those subscriptions, you can go in on it with somebody, and mm -hmm. usually they have a multiple screen option where you can yep, they do. split the difference with somebody and not pay for the full thing yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, so I use the every dollar budgeting app. It's a very simple app. You just make an account and it's Dave Ramsey's budgeting app. Right. I didn't even know about that. This is bugging me. It's still in front of your face a little bit. <laughs> so, um, the every dollar app, you put in how much you're going to receive that month, just a rough estimate of your husband's salary or, um, whatever your normal income source is. And... Um, then you allocate where each dollar is going to go and your goal is to have a balanced budget where there is zero dollars that are remaining so everything has a purpose and you're not over budget so mm -hmm. there are some months where we are a little bit over and I have to adjust how much we can spend on groceries that much or how much we can spend sorry that month mm -hmm. um or how much we can use in giving because I do even though we are in debt I always make sure I have an amount set aside for giving mm -hmm. so if we have something that someone else needs that pops up um, a friend in the church needs a meal I have the extra in the budget mm -hmm. to buy the extra ingredients if I don't have it in my pantry already or how my pantry works I rotate through so if one thing comes out, I buy that same thing when I go to the grocery store, so I'm never running out. Um, so 
I will pull however many extra I need and then that extra amount in the budget goes toward buying that little bit of groceries that I needed for the meal. So mm -hmm. there's always room to give even when you have no money. Yeah. And there's different ways you can. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be it monetary. It doesn't have to be monetary. Yeah. yeah. It can be other things. I mean, you've always been very giving with different, even the different things you've made, you yeah. know, around the church. So um, is that app free or is it, is. it is free? Yep. Okay, you nice. can get, um, there's an option on there for subscribing to their system where you can get um, access to, what's their plan called? The Financial Peace? Yes, Financial I Peace think. University. Mm -hmm. You can get unlimited access to the videos and you can get where they show your transactions loaded into the app for you. Ooh. So that could be something that could be helpful for you. Mm -hmm. For me, I feel the weight of the money loading the entries into my into my app by myself mm -hmm. I want to know what I have spent it's like right. almost a guilt thing <laughs> making myself do the work making mm -hmm. myself see <clears throat> this is how much you spent was it a stupid decision or was it a good thing so mm -hmm. yeah I mean and that's kind of the same the same concept as using cash mm -hmm. you know you have the cash envelopes in Dave Ramsey's course and so where it might not be electronic, you feel the weight of it, you know, mm -hmm. more when you pay the cash rather than slide a card. Mm -hmm. You're seeing the actual cash, the dollars, right. go down in your envelopes. Yep. And now my husband does Quicken. Mm -hmm. um, and he's done, if you ladies are interested in it, he has done a video. on. It's on my channel about doing a budget. And he shows you, kind of goes through Quicken mm -hmm. and shows you how to set up a budget. Because it is an eye-opener. Um, we had probably been married... I don't know, seven or eight years before we did one. Okay. And it was very eye-opening what we had been spending money on. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, all the food out. And so for all the years that we were paying off our debt, we've gotten a little more lazy now. I think just because um, we are not, things are not quite as tight. Because like I said, we're, um, we're almost debt-free with the exception of our house, which our house payment is really not even that much compared to what most people pay. But... Um, it's nice because you can see exactly what you have the money budgeted for. So we budgeted for everything. Mm -hmm. Like you said, eating out, groceries, um, I budget cash, for like um, car activities. spendings. Yeah. I budget for, here, I'll just bring up my budget and give some, yeah. some areas <clears throat> that I do. I do mm -hmm. budget for clothes because yep. I am not good at spending on clothes. No, you're not. So if I put away money... I know it's there if I decide that I want to buy something because mm -hmm. the urge does not strike me often. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I go, I budget for tolls and traveling expenses. Nice. We, um, yeah, I, know, I wouldn't even think of that. I Because we do travel up to see Tom and Jackie okay. or down to my mm -hmm. parents. So right. um, I do budget for that when we have that in the month. If it's not something we're planning on traveling that month, then I don't add it into the budget. Mm -hmm. um, I budget for our car stickers. I named it government yes. thievery. Yes. <laughs> that's what it is. I budget for our raw milk because that's separate yep. from our grocery budget. Yeah. Um, and... For the part of the cow I budget for that and the every dollar app has where you can add items in each category so mm -hmm. you can nice if I don't have milk that month for some reason mm -hmm. I would just take that category out in the next budget right so it's a very helpful system mm -hmm. yeah so back to the um the financial part of it mm -hmm. and then you said put bills on auto pay that offer a cheaper payment option yes my husband's phone bill um, went up recently and he was offered an auto pay solution to bring his bill back down to where it was before okay so that's something that a lot of different companies will do and if they don't you can always ask mm -hmm. and another thing about bills um, if you notice your bill starting to go up, sometimes if you call and talk to them, they can offer you a cheaper solution, even yep. though it's something that they raised the price on purpose. You can always try and talk them back down. Always call. They tried. Um, we actually got rid of a vehicle a couple months ago on our car insurance, thinking it was going to help our car insurance, and they raised it $100 a month. 
And my husband called him, and he's like, we were paying almost 500 because we have a lot of teen drivers. Mm-hmm. We've got three teen drivers on it besides us. And so it went. they went back and forth, back and forth for a few days. But it ended up they knocked it down $200 a month. So then we felt like we'd been getting ripped off mm-hmm. for the last three years when we were paying, mm-hmm. you know, 150 more or 100 more than what they gave us. So definitely call. Mm-hmm. And I would call periodically Mm -hmm. through the year. Yes, especially if you notice them bumping it up every month or two. Call. Yes. If you have to call every month, do it. Yep. It's your job to save money. It's their job to give you a service. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so now, I mean, we're we're down to three fifty a month for insurance, which is still when we first got married, we were only paying ninety three (laughs) a month or something. But three fifty is not bad when you've got us, you know, my husband and I, and then the three, Mm -hmm. three teen drivers on there. I guess Tommy's not technically a teen, but, but yeah, call, call about the bills. Um, I pay the bills usually the week ahead on payday. Mm-hmm. So whatever bills are set for the next week, I pay those and whatever, sorry, I put away, I added up how much all of our bills are mm-hmm. and I put away a quarter of that into our savings, a separate savings account with each paycheck okay and then I pull from the separate savings account to pay those bills nice so I'm always I've always got that money put away anything that's left in checking it would be for um, gas groceries Mm -hmm. extra spending Um, and then if there's extra left at the end of that then I tuck that away in a separate separate savings account Mm -hmm. that um, is untouched so that would be money that would go toward um, the student loan and right. any other debt in this situation. Mm-hmm. Do you <clears throat> do you find that you're trying to save? I know Dave Ramsey, does he recommend 10%? Of, what does he recommend for um, saving? So during the paying off debt portion, he doesn't yeah. recommend saving above $1,000. Okay. So we have our you have emergency your, fund right, put emergency away. Fund. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I'm not sure because I've been so focused on this for the last three mm-hmm. years. So... I'm not thinking about the next steps yet. I think you know, that might have been something my husband came up with, <laughs> that he would put 10% into a separate account. Okay. You know, we do the 10% tithe automatically, and then the 10% into our own savings, mm-hmm. and then the rest we live off of. So that might have been his thing. Okay. Um, what about, um, I think we skipped, though, what do you do around the house to save the money? Backing up a little bit. Okay, so I do buy my most used items in bulk. Um, There are things that I use regularly, like toothpaste or, Mm -hmm. um, let's see, toilet paper. I buy the big pack. We're a family of four, but only two of us use the toilet right now. Right. So (laughs) I buy the biggest package that I can get in the brand my husband likes. So we always have toilet paper on hand which is something that we didn't have to worry about at the beginning because I've always bought in bulk. Right. And then um, things like vinegar for cleaning our Mm -hmm. laundry, you can buy that in a gallon jug instead of in a little 8-ounce bottle. Then you're not ever going to run out if you continually buy when you get down halfway. And vinegar Mm -hmm. is cheap. That's something you can replace your cleaning products with. Um, They have big old gallons of vinegar at mm -hmm. Aldi, even. Mm -hmm. You can get it for very cheap. Yeah. Um, and then do you want to go to disposable items? Yeah. Um, these are items that we either don't buy or we buy very little of. Um, paper towels, we use them for greasy messes or for greasing our cast iron pan. So mm-hmm. they're not gone through very frequently. Um, we don't buy paper plates or napkins. And I would make an exception for this postpartum. Because right. you're not up doing dishes. Yeah. Or there are different times in life, like early in pregnancy, right. or you're going through a very hard time. You're not able to do dishes because you can't mentally handle it. So there are things that you should pay extra for when you need to. But mm-hmm. that's something we don't normally buy. We don't buy plastic silverware. We don't buy disposable diapers. We do cloth diaper. Um, I don't buy disposable feminine hygiene products. I use cloth pads, and um, you've mentioned a silicone cup. cup. Yeah, that's that's what I've switched to. So 
I'm not getting it for me. For my daughters who are teens, they still do mm -hmm. the products. But I figured after they get married, they can switch to that. But I do use that, and I love it. I feel like it's great. I know that sunset. If you're a man, stop listening. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen for the next two minutes. But it is, I feel like it's a very, um, well, it's cut down a lot because mm -hmm. I buy I buy the organic kind too mm -hmm. for the girls so it's so expensive it is just very expensive. buying the cheap stuff is expensive and mm -hmm. it's so much healthier <clears throat> for your body this is another area where it's cheaper it's also healthier and it may also be more work yeah it is a yeah uh, I don't know With I feel like it adds it's more work yes I have to wash that them. is that is more and is and cloth diapers are more mm -hmm. work that's <laughs> another area yes <laughs> Yeah, that's um, a lot more I work. I have that but... in laundry. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't we don't buy disposable feminine hygiene. We don't buy dryer sheets. I use wool dryer balls. Mm -hmm. And that's cutting down on the chemicals that are being put into our bodies. And that's also cutting down on um, dry time because the dryer balls help to aerate the dryer and okay. save you a little bit of energy there. Mm -hmm. I used those a long time ago, too. Something this was all stuff I with. used to do <laughs> when I was very, very poor, <laughs> living on half of what we make now. So, and um, paying off debt. Yes. It's, it is. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But um, I save trash. And this is something my husband is not too fond of. <laughs> but I save um, when we do go on trips. Sometimes I'll use disposable diapers so I don't have to wash diapers while we're gone. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I save diaper boxes for storage and wipes boxes. I use disposable wipes because my kids are sensitive, but, mm -hmm. um, yes, I save those boxes and you can decorate them. They don't have to be ugly. Heidi came over and helped me decorate some of my <laughs> boxes recently. <clears throat> and I save glass jars for storage or gifting food items or like my bacon grease. That was not a jar I bought specifically for bacon grease that was a pasta sauce jar that I've had for the last three years because it's mm -hmm. the perfect size so why would you get rid of it <laughs> um I reuse ziplocs if they're not super dirty I know mm -hmm. some people wash their ziplocs and mm -hmm. use them again but I just reuse like the one I put my cheese block in I take it out and mm -hmm. reuse it as needed um, we save our Walmart bags for trash bags or bags to hold litter because we have cats yep um, and then we save gift bags and tissue paper so that you can reuse it for the next gift. Nobody cares if you give no. them a used bag and it saves you some money. So at any birthday party or yep. <laughs> bridal shower, baby shower, save the bags. Bags are so expensive. I hate mm -hmm. spending money on them. <laughs> it drives me nuts every time I have to. <laughs> so um, in laundry, I at one point was paying $3.50 per load of laundry in the apartment complex we lived in and that was that's insane awful. that's yeah. when i started cloth diapering and i tried cloth diapering to save money but it became more expensive than disposable mm -hmm. at the time because of how expensive the laundry was so i would hand wash and that took an over an hour every day of um washing with a bucket and a plunger and i don't know how you did that <laughs> i don't know how i did that <laughs> I couldn't I do that now. No. Um, so I would wash with a bucket and a plunger, air dry um, mm -hmm. on a hanging drying rack, and then I would fold in the evenings after the baby went to bed. But um, I did that for several months mm -hmm. until we moved to our um, new house. And now I do laundry, diaper laundry every night just to keep it down. But. Mm -hmm. Well, you have two in diapers now. Yes. So mm. I have enough for a full load every night. Yeah. <laughs> so cloth diapers are a lot of work, but it is a very good way to save um, because I only have the cost of the laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. My water bill is not extremely expensive, and um, I have the cost of the wipes. So I'm spending a fifth mm -hmm. of what I would be if I were... Um, using disposable diapers and I'm able to use these for multiple children mm -hmm. so if we have more kids in the future then we're gonna have diapers for them it's just like saving your kids clothes so you don't have right. to buy new clothes for every child 
it does take some storage space, but it's going to save you so much money long term. Now, do you make your own detergent or do you buy it? I buy it. Okay. Um, cloth diapers, you have to have a certain amount of enzyme to kill and get rid of right. the waste. Mm -hmm. So you have to do two wash cycles and make sure that everything is very clean. And I'm not willing to trust a homemade detergent with diapers. Right. Um, you can go even cheaper than a uh, homemade detergent. There are something called soap nuts. Yes, I've heard of that. And mm -hmm. those, if you're not dealing with uh, human waste, like with diapers, then you can use that in your laundry. And that will save you because you're using five to seven of these little tiny soap nuts. Mm -hmm. And you just dry them between loads. Hmm. Save them. I saw someone, it's this Chinese woman. I don't know why I found her on YouTube and she's very calming <laughs> <Okay>. to watch. <laughs> There's, it doesn't people. show I her love... face. It's just very calming music. And she has soap nuts and some okay. water by okay. the sink and she shakes it up and use, washes her dishes okay. with soap nuts. So I thought it looked very interesting. I kind of want to try it. I have some. I can bring you Do some you? to try. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to try it. Um, so when you use your dryer, use it on low heat, especially if you have a gas dryer, so you're not using as much of the energy. If you use a, if you have a clothesline or if you have room to hang clothes, do that instead of drying them in the dryer because you're going to cut down on your electric mm -hmm. bill or your gas bill depending on what kind of dryer you have. That's something that I really enjoy doing in the summertime, especially with the cloth diapers because it kills germs. Mm. Being out in the sun, it gets rid of stains. It yes. kills germs. It gives such a fresh smell. So there are a lot of benefits to hang drying too. The sun is amazing on mm -hmm. cloth diapers. It gets rid of stains, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and as far as lifestyle, we use an Xbox, an Xbox Live subscription, so $60 a year. And we use YouTube as our main streaming service. It's free with ads. So you do have the downside of being exposed to what YouTube wants you to be exposed to. Right. <laughs> but you're not spending any money. Mm -hmm. um, I make friends with money-saving people. people That's why you're save, friends with Heidi. <laughs> people who save twist ties and gallon jugs are the ones who will inspire you to work harder and to do better things for your family. Oh, I didn't even see your next point. Yep. <laughs> Heidi is my money-saving friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't buy many new clothes. If we need new clothes, I try to thrift as much as I can, and that's for all of us. Um, my husband, myself, and the babies, if I can find things in our sizes, things that are good quality, then I definitely try to do that. And this is something that you mentioned in another episode, or somebody did, um, that buying used clothes that have flaws can cost you more long term. Mm. So mm -hmm. if you don't know how to sew a button on and that skirt is missing a button, don't buy the skirt. Right. Because it's going to cost you to have somebody else put it on for you. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're getting a good quality item, inspect it, make sure there are no stains before. That's a good way to save money <laughs> if you're going to buy used. Yes, I agree. I almost thrift everything unless I find an item I really like on Amazon mm -hmm. um, occasionally or if I get um, – gift cards to Kohl's mm -hmm. or something like that. But Kohl's even has very good sales. I was going to say that even when I do buy new, I never buy something full price. Mm -hmm. I bought a new shirt at Maurice's last, last week or the week before. And I spent less than $5 on a brand new shirt because I found a hole in it and they will give you a discount if there's a hole in your shirt. So, and if you can fix it, yep. See, I, I want to skills for it. Buy so. a shirt with a hole because mm -hmm. I can't fix it. Maybe buy it and give it to you to fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't do it. But no, um, my husband won't go shopping by himself. Mm -hmm. He takes me with because I know where to find the deals. The deals <laughs> in the stores. You know, even with suits, I know where to look, and he's completely lost. <laughs> so he takes me with him. Um. So. Our church ladies do a clothing swap every season or two. And yes, that's we, really fun. We all get a fresh wardrobe at that time and get rid of whatever doesn't fit, whatever we don't like anymore, whatever we've worn too much and are sick of. Right. And um, we can swap maternity and nursing clothes. We can swap 
just normal clothes too so that's a really nice thing if you have a large group of friends or even just a small group of friends bring your clothes together and see what the others like Mm -hmm. that's going to take some off your hands and give you more of what you need it's really fun i've also noticed that some minimizers will do this thing where they'll go through and they'll put all the hangers right side like facing Mm -hmm. and then when they wear it they'll turn the hanger around Mm -hmm. And they go through every six months and get rid of all the ones that they have not worn in six months, mm-hmm. you know, that are still facing forward. So that's a good idea, too. And that's where the clothes swap mm-hmm. is really nice. I tend to follow that same pattern. That's the the ones I bring to the church are the ones. Oh, I hear you miss. <laughs> Try to speed things up. I don't know. <laughs> but clothing swaps are really fun. Talk to, if you're at church, talk to your pastor's wife about doing one. They're really fun. So. Um. So another thing that we don't do is we don't buy cars with payment plans. And that means we don't always have pretty vehicles, but we always have something to get around in. Mm -hmm. And it's not costing us extra. Right. As long as it's functional, it's not costing us extra. (laughs) Yep. Um, Relating to our house, you can bundle yourself up and the babies up in the wintertime and keep the house a little bit cooler. Um, Socks and a hat will go a long way to keep you warm. And in the summertime can keep the temperature a little bit warmer and wear less or thinner layers Mm -hmm. and that's something that my husband doesn't really like to do yeah (laughs) because he's very hot but yes it's something that you can do if you're really trying to scrimp um things do you want to go over things that don't save us yeah i also want to throw in there for electric bill we live only on electric we don't have gas okay we're only electric and what we've done that's really helped is budget billing so we are paying because we have electric heat and it gets really expensive in winter. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it is up to 350 a month now. I know. <laughs> but that's it. We don't mm-hmm. have water because we live on well. We don't have gas. Mm-hmm. So that's 350 for all of our utilities mm-hmm. besides garbage. And that's about 25 a month. Went up to a little bit though, 35 a month. <laughs> but what we do is we um, because we're on budget billing, we're not going to get hit with a $700 payment which mm-hmm. sometimes our heat goes up to seven hundred dollars a month and that's just keeping it at 65 i keep it at so um we're not hit with that because we're on the budget billing so look into budget billing if you're hit with these astronomical bills mm-hmm. you know in the winter mm-hmm. and that might be something helpful too um, so things that don't save me money that i do just because i don't feel like it's necessary <laughs> um I use paper towels to clean the toilet. I could use a rag, but I choose to use paper towel because it grosses me out. (laughs) Um, I bought a $20 flat cloth diaper, which cloth diapering can be cheaper. Mm -hmm. It can also be very expensive. It can become a hobby. Yes. And you have to restrain yourself if you are a spendy person. (laughs) (laughs) So um, definitely watch whatever your hobby is, watch how much you're spending in that. Because um, I like herbs and I like Mm -hmm. making things with herbs, but I also buy organic. So I have to really shop around and make sure I'm getting the best price so I'm not wasting money on something that's going to benefit our family. Mm -hmm. Um, I use disposable wipes. That's something my babies need it because they're sensitive, but you can do cloth wipes if you're really into saving money and you're not worried about feeling gross about stuff you can use cloth for Mm -hmm. your own bathroom trips yeah that's something that some people do or you can use what is it called a bidet Uh uh-huh so there are other ways you can cut out toilet paper altogether if you're okay with washing and using cloth and a diaper sprayer makes a nice bidet Mm -hmm. you have a diaper (laughs) it really does yep And then meatless dinners. Yes. Um, yeah, my husband's the same way. Meatless dinners are yeah. something you can do to get rid of a big expense. Meat is the most yes. expensive part of our diet. And um, my husband does prefer meat in his meals. So on occasion, I will serve a meatless dinner, but I try to make sure there's at least a pound of meat in each meal. Mm-hmm. And um, usually that's mixed with about two cups of rice. That's dry rice, so it does expand quite a bit about four cups of rice for but he'll eat other things other than beef right because mm-hmm. i eat do any kind yeah, of meat i mm-hmm. do pork
work a lot. Mm-hmm. Work is cheaper usually. Yes. And I would love you to get can, a pig. You can get too. a whole pig by mm-hmm. yourself for less than five hundred dollars. Yeah. And that's including processing. That's including whatever fancy cuts you want. That's including mm-hmm. if you want to make it into sausage. Mm-hmm. So, oh, that's another thing on food. Buying sausage pre-made is cheaper than buying pork and making it into sausage. Really? Yes. Hmm. So you have to watch. If you're not worried about quality as much, you're not worried about the quality of spices they put in, mm-hmm. it's a lot cheaper to buy sausage. So sometimes it is cheaper to have somebody do it for you. You've got just got to watch like the price per ounce. Mm-hmm. Get your phone out, look up the calculator, divide your price by how many ounces are in the product that gives you your price per ounce and that's going to be something that you can use to help you see if buying in bulk is cheaper with the specific product Mm -hmm. i do um even if i do a meal like waffles or Mm -hmm. pancakes i do sausage links Mm -hmm. or bacon yep you know with it i don't even the rice and beans recipe i had it had meat with it like Mm -hmm. a pound a pound of meat, a pound of ground beef or something. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't just strictly rice, beans, that's it. Mm-hmm. I don't think my husband would have survived. <laughs> There's no way Aaron would. <laughs> no, no, he likes his meat. Yes. <laughs> so, and then the makeup. That was the last point. Oh, something I... <laughs> something you spend the money something on. Something <laughs> I don't mind spending money on. I like expensive eyeshadow, and I don't wear makeup very often so I can justify it for myself. Mm-hmm. I like Urban Decay eyeshadow and if I wear it once a week on Sundays and once for the show tonight I, I'm i fine spending I don't $30. even know what that brand is. <laughs> so it's very expensive. I spent mm-hmm. $30 on a six pan eyeshadow palette and mm-hmm. that's lasted me and right. that's my most used item. Mm-hmm. So I'm okay with spending a good amount on a good quality product that's going to last me. Right. Because it's better than buying a cheap product that I'm going to go through a whole lot quicker. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, and I would say that those are some things I also spend money on. Um, I know Josh was making fun of me for my $9 Starbucks drink. Oh, my but goodness. Yeah. They're not $9, <laughs> Josh, if you're watching this. Um, but I do because I, I've told my husband, I'm teaching piano, you know, two, mm-hmm. three days a week sometimes. And it's for the little luxuries, Mm -hmm. you know? And and I feel like if we're just so militant about this, we Mm -hmm. get burned out. Absolutely. Very quickly. one of the reasons why we've only paid off 20,000. Yeah. Because I'm not willing to cut long-term things that make me happy. Right. So I'm in the process of starting a business. Mm -hmm. And that is something where I'm gonna be bringing in that little bit of extra Mm -hmm. just for my fun stuff. If right. I want to buy a $20 diaper, I'm not going to feel guilty about it. This one I feel guilty about because it came out of money I should not have spent. But if I want to in the future, yeah. it's not going to be hurting our budget. Right. And I think that's important. So I will a couple of times on church days normally. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes on one day, oh. you know, two or three times, I will get a Dunkin' Donuts drink or a Starbucks drink. And it's just one of the little luxuries. You know, mm-hmm. it might be to the point the way the world's going I might not have that forever Mm -hmm. but I do now Mm -hmm. so you know I think you can definitely get burned out I mean 20,000 is nothing to be ashamed of that's amazing and what you say three years Mm -hmm. that's really really good so you're I think you're doing a great great job doing that but that was was like what I was going to say too do you feel like this will always be a way of life for you absolutely yeah now that you've gotten into it I grew up very poor and Mm -hmm when you wanted something but you didn't have the money you did without Mm -hmm. and I was not unhappy my parents made us comfortable Mm -hmm. and I don't feel like I've been uncomfortable except for a couple of months when Aaron had a really low paying job Mm -hmm. right after we had Mavis right we had $60 in our bank account so I've been lower than that yeah (laughs) we that was right after we moved it was very rough and very tight and yeah. other than that couple of months, I don't feel we have been uncomfortable in mm-hmm. our living situation. Um, I think it's a sustainable way of life because I don't cut out little luxuries. Yeah. Like, um, I don't buy coffees out because I'm nursing and I don't want the baby right. to get coffee at the time when I'm out. Right. So mm-hmm. that's not 
something that I'm against. It's just something I don't do for my time of life. Right. When exactly. it's done nursing, I'm going to get coffee in the afternoon on Sunday. Yes. Because <laughs> Sunday is a long day, and I it want is. coffee. <laughs> I know it is, and it just makes it a little more bearable. Yeah. <laughs> Brings a little more joy. Mm-hmm. Kelly asked, what business are you planning on starting? Oh, I'm going to be working with Nicole Shepard, and we're going to be making a business selling salves, homemade salves, mostly organic. We're going to list it as all natural because some of the un- yes. or- ingredients we can't get organic. So yeah. um, we're making salves, lotions. We're working on an eye serum. It's going to be a lot of fun. They're amazing. Yeah. I just bought some of her body butter. It's so good. It just soaks right in and moisturizes and the salves she's the one that got me into salve making Mm -hmm. and that stuff is amazing for winter skin too so i have all the stuff and you know i spent a lot when i originally got everything for it Mm -hmm. but i am still using that salve i made from Mm -hmm. the first batch yep this is probably going to be something I have to do two times a year, mm-hmm. and I have stuff to make it for the next two years probably. Mm-hmm. Because you so. buy all the dried ingredients, yep. and then you get fresh oil when you need it so your oil doesn't go rancid. There's These mm-hmm. hobbies are expensive to start, but they are so good long-term for your family. Yeah, and I feel better knowing that that's what I'm putting on my kid's skin. Because you made it yourself. Yes. You know exactly what went into it, and mm-hmm. you know how old it is, and you know who's touched it. Right. And, you know, you cleaned the containers yourself. (laughs) It's a very good feeling. Yes, it is. So, yeah, definitely. um, Oh, she said, Amanda said she was gifted an eye serum from Nicole. Mm -hmm. And it was really, really good. Um, But, yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know. She'll post about it when she gets it up and going. And it's great stuff. I love it. So, any other tips? Nothing that comes right to the top of my head. And hopefully Um, I was not very good with sticking up with or staying up with the chat. So, ladies, if you have any questions, I think we answered Kelly's. Um, I would like to say it's definitely a mindset change. Yeah. It's not going to be, um, you shouldn't look at it as, oh, I can't do this. You have to look at it as what the benefit for your family is. I am benefiting my family by paying off debt. You may be benefiting your family by being able to afford going out on a vacation once a year. Or you could be saving money toward um, being able to, like your lifestyle change may be able, may make you able to get a pet for your family. Or Mm -hmm. you might be able to, like, start a business like I was working on. I set aside money specifically for that because I know long term it's going to make more than what I put into it. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, it will definitely. Someone asked, any tips, Nicole asked, any tips for people who seriously struggle in this area, like two or three things that might motivate me to stay on budget? But I think you pretty much just answered that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, Look at it as a mindset change. Look at it as what you're benefiting your family. And I like what you said, too. You could even just just doing the budget, taking all the extra that you were spending back after you cut back. Because when we Mm -hmm. first did our budget, we cut back on a lot. We cut back on our subscriptions right away. Mm -hmm. We got rid of all the fat. You know, we trimmed Mm -hmm. off all the fat. But then we used that money to pay off the debt. Well, if you don't have debt, use that money in a savings jar for vacation. Yes, for your savings. Yeah. You can use it for um, starting a hobby. You can Mm -hmm. use it for treating your kids to something fun. Yep. Um. If there's some sort of water park you want to go to, what would be some other fun things that you could do? You oh, man, there's everything. You to see family more yeah. often. Yeah, because gas is expensive gas right now. Gas is ridiculous. And if you cut your eating out and you cut your um, online spending, your Amazon shopping sprees. If you we'll not cut, talk about that. If you <laughs> cut those out, you're going to have free money that doesn't have a spot that it needs to go and Mm -hmm. you get to choose so making a budget is putting yourself in control of your money Mm -hmm. no one else when we're out of debt we are not going to be um a slave to somebody else Mm -hmm. we're not working for the student loan company when we're out of debt we're working for ourselves and we get Mm -hmm. to choose what to do with that and that is what's keeping us going Yes. And also, too, when we um, started our savings account for our emergency fund, if we had to use that, we paid ourselves back. Mm -hmm. And that was so freeing, knowing that we were paying ourselves back and not the credit card company. Mm -hmm. Just knowing that that this is what this money is here for, you know. And I remember the last time I went in, I had been saving my piano lesson money for um, 
a dryer. My dryer mm-hmm. went out. And I went into Kani to buy one. I was buying one brand new. Um, we use laundry a lot. So mm-hmm. I always buy it brand new and get the warranty because we use it so much. And he was trying to get me to put it on the credit card. Mm-hmm. And I said, no, you know, I have the money. I'm going to pay cash. And he said, well, don't you want it for a rainy day? And I told him, this is my rainy day. Mm-hmm. This is what it's there for, for yeah. this. And so I was able, it was such a nice feeling to be able to pay $1,000. Mm-hmm. Just pay it with my piano lesson money and walk out knowing I owned it free and clear. Mm-hmm. So it's very good feeling Mm -hmm. when you start doing that when we paid cash for our first vehicle it was a very good feeling Mm -hmm. we saved and saved and saved and browsed craigslist you know all these different places and found a van for twenty five hundred dollars we had saved twenty five hundred dollars and that was the blue van brother lonnie got that Mm -hmm. lasted forever yeah so that was the best investment we ever made Mm -hmm. when it came to a vehicle it's very freeing you become the one in charge and you know everything you Mm -hmm. know it's like with making our own products you know what's going into it you know where all of your money is going you know where it's not going where it should be Mm -hmm. (laughs) and it's you're in charge i like being in charge yeah i like it (laughs) so this is a good role for us paying off debt right now and i don't even know how we did it looking back we are paying hundreds of dollars towards debt we are hundreds. Aaron's fine with me saying we're spending mm-hmm. $700 a month on debt. <gasps> That's more than our house payment. So yeah. when we are done paying off debt, wow. we will have $700 extra dollars wow. that's not being put toward anything that we get to choose. Yep. And if prices keep skyrocketing, I'll just pay a little bit less on debt. I'll right. still have my wiggle room in my budget that I need, and I'll still be paying down. Mm-hmm. We live very meagerly yes <laughs> frugally very yes. frugally <laughs> yes so you can do you can live for cheap wow yeah that's incredible just think of it you could own a house mm-hmm. with that money that's mm-hmm. our house payment yep so and that's not like we pay almost 700 dollars in rent so it's basically like two wow. house payments that we're paying yeah right it is we're going to be paying less when we buy a house. <laughs> it's so free. And that's why I'm able to spend almost 300 a week in groceries. Mm-hmm. You know, and you'll get to that point, too. Mm-hmm. You, the more kids you have. And you paid cash for your kids. Yes. I wanted to mention that, yes. too. Um, I saved up cash for um, my daughter's first my first birth with my daughter. She was uh, planned to be a home birth. I paid 4200 some dollars and then the birth kit. She ended up having to be born in the hospital, mm-hmm. and um, we got the bills for the hospital. We didn't expect those, so yeah. um, that was when we had $60 in our account, and yes. I filled out the financial assistance paperwork. The hospital completely wiped the bill. Wow. They totally took care of it. So That's amazing. That's something else. Fill out financial assistance paperwork. They want to know every detail of your spending, Mm -hmm. but for the average family that does not spend or does not make over like $100,000 a year, they will cut significantly your bills. My parents, I think they got like a 50% reduction or something on one of theirs. So fill it out. I know it's not comfortable sharing that stuff with people, but Mm -hmm. you're going to save so much if you do. Yeah, that's amazing. And then you also paid for Amos too, and Mm -hmm. he was a... Wonderful home birth. Yes, a very, <laughs> very healing home birth. Yeah. Um, and his birth was 4000 We saved up cash for his, too. That's awesome. So not only have you paid off that 20000 in debt, you've had those two births as well. Mm-hmm. That were almost 10 between mm-hmm. the two. So yeah. that's um, that's very impressive. I look up to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, lear- I've you know, learned a lot of the tips. A lot of the stuff I used to do, and I've just kind of fallen off the wagon since mm-hmm. we have more leeway now mm-hmm. that our debt is paid off. You know, saving stuff, saving trash, saving food scraps, making your food stretch. That's going to be the biggest mm-hmm. savings because food is where your money goes. Yes. And um, mm-hmm. having a pantry. If you're getting a tax return back, this is a great time to start your pantry. Yeah. It's a great time to refill your pantry and then work on the one in one out system. Mm hmm. Um, If you're able to switch to that system, you're going to save a lot long term because you're never running out of food. Right. You're going to have a food security of sorts. I am so glad. Find a local meat source. Mm -hmm. I am so glad for our local meat source and our local raw milk as Mm -hmm. well. 
we both get it from different places, but I love our raw milk source and it's right now $6 a gallon. Mm -hmm. I think she's upping the price because of inflation, but only by a dollar, I think. Um, $6 a gallon for raw milk is crazy. Mm -hmm. You pay less, don't no, you? I'm, you use the I'm same? With you. You're with Renee? Okay. So find a local source. I do believe. There's cheaper in the area though. So shop yeah, around for there raw, is. raw there milk is. or for your meat source. I've just been a faithful customer of hers for like eight, nine, eight nine years. So I'm not going to switch because we have a relationship mm -hmm. with that. But then even our cow that we're getting mm -hmm. is, or this one's an organic cow. Mm -hmm. And we know the butcher. Yes. So we're able to get it. Mm -hmm. for a good price it's going to be cheaper than conventional meat and it's all organic mm -hmm. so yep. it's good and i i'm not as hardcore orga organic i do what i can mm -hmm. um usually through aldi kelly knows that and <laughs> that's watching but um i'm not i can't be 100 percent organic so i and feel better when my meat can be mm -hmm. you know and we are not 100 percent organic if my kid eats a fruit snack off the floor <laughs> she's gonna be okay we you donuts. have a good balance though you do because yeah me miss eat stuff here i but... think everything needs to be a balance yes if you are so hardcore organic yeah you might suffer mentally from trying to keep things so clean or if you're not clean at all with your eating your health is going to suffer right so you have to have a balance of some sort mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be all one or all the other you can have like yep. i'm more organic than you mm -hmm. but you still do stuff that's right. healthy for your family it's yeah. not and that's kind of why i've always spent the money on the raw milk mm -hmm. that's one of my health things i haven't budged on mm -hmm. and it's just it's so good and it's that's kept my kids healthy bacteria for your kids it is their teeth mm -hmm. they're gonna be so much better because they of are it. <laughs> they definitely are so yep for sure let me make sure nicole had a question up a little i think i answered it um so i think that's about it yeah julia is trying to grow her own they got goats for milk and meat and chickens for eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is one thing I need to do. I need to get chickens eventually. That's something else um, like Julia is doing. She's got her own mini homestead. Yep. But um, you have to consider for yourself if the energy is going to be worth it for you or if it's yeah. going to be better to shop cheaper. Yeah. For Julia, it works better to do it herself. Mm -hmm. And she gets a hobby in the process. Yes. So. <laughs> and that's kind of where my husband's drawn the line. Mm -hmm. He said we're McBurchers are not animal people so <laughs> I don't want chickens yeah my mother-in-law has chickens and I love the eggs but I'm not mm -hmm. gonna I'm not gonna raise my own chickens I'm not gonna put the time into it no. we all have our different things we like so mm -hmm. that's just one but yeah definitely um Kelly said we're not hardcore organic at all but we do pick up the grass-fed organic beef at Aldi and it is at six dollars for one pound mm -hmm. I think the meat we're getting comes up to four something a pound after processing after processing so it's mm -hmm. a good deal it's a lot cheaper so if you can find a local meat source and someone um, to go in a lot of times meat. you can find it if you're looking in an amish community mm -hmm. you can find yes um, a meat source or you can find at amish stores or um, bulk food stores you can get a lot of discounted things there mm -hmm. yeah and we we have a couple that i've been to not not as much as I need to, but we have a couple in the area. We have a lot of Amish around us, so it just depends where you live. Mm -hmm. And make sure if you go to a bulk food store that you're buying food that you eat. Yes. Otherwise, you're just wasting money. It's going to get thrown away. Yep, exactly. I can't buy fresh produce right now because I know I won't use it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if I buy it, it wastes in my fridge. And see, it'll be gone in like two days in my mm -hmm. house <laughs> with my kids. That's, that's kind of our main snack is fresh produce, so... Yep, we're all at different times. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone said that um, they want me to have you on again, and they think <laughs> okay. your voice is very soothing. Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> very kind. <laughs> They're like, her voice is so soothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, yes, I have had suggestions, too. I've had other people tell me to have you on again. So <laughs> I think everyone enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, I'm sure she'll be checking. Mm -hmm. You know, um, she can answer it. I've been down this road too. <laughs> Maybe not as hardcore because I didn't do the cloth diapers until Kelly and then I only did it with Kelly. Cloth diapering but is not for everybody. It's a lot of work. It's and so it's, cute. It is so super cute. cute. And it can be really gross too. So if you yeah. can't do poop, like I cannot, mm -hmm. for some reason, washing my toilet with a cloth and washing that is disgusting to me, but putting a pooped on rag in the washer is fine. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's funny. Yeah, I didn't mind so much that because of the, the 
the diaper sprayer. Mm -hmm. I do use a diaper sprayer. I mm -hmm. could not do the Dunkin' Swish. (laughs) No, no. The diaper sprayer definitely helps. Um, If you want cloth diaper tips, I can help you there. Yes. (laughs) Me and Julia both. Yeah, they're like, they're really, really good at, at all that. So, yep. But go ahead and comment, like, share, all that good stuff. It helps the algorithm. So, um, we will see you next week. I'm not sure what the topic will be, but we'll come up with something. So we will see you ladies later. I got to shut it off now.